What's up guys? Today a shoe review and donation. Today I want to talk about a pair of shoes I found at Ross. 30 bucks. It was a good luck find. They're in really good condition. Let's show you what they look like. Try them on. Talk about how they fit. Talk about the downsides of buying shoes at Ross. You can find a really good pair of shoes at Ross for cheap, but sometimes it's a little bit too good to be true, and we'll talk about that. Just a fun, quick video, and then at the end, a donation. Let's go ahead and check them out. So let me walk you through how good of a find this was. So just want to quickly show you how good of an example this shoe is as a dress shoe at Ross, but you have to look. There was another shoe, but it was a dress shoe nonetheless. It was black, I think. I have a picture of it. Let me overlay it. It was not as good of quality. As you can tell by the picture, it's uh, loose. Uh, not sure if that affects being able to wear it or not, but compared to this shoe by Nine West, 30 bucks. It's a brown dress shoe. Brown is a great color. So good for the office, not as good for a formal event. But the point I wanted to make here was just how good of an example this pair of dress shoe is. It's a size 12. I wasn't able to find a size 11 and a half, which is the size that I wear, which fits me the best. Let me know what you think. 30 bucks, is that too much of a price to pay? Uh, I think for the quality of this shoe, the look, the fit, the finish, uh, even though I wasn't able to get it in my size, a Ross is typically near a Marshalls and other retail stores. So, you have that. If you can't find what you're looking for, just looking at the condition of the sole, which as you can tell, uh, this pair have not been worn and returned. Both shoes are in really good shape. A good find at Ross for 30 bucks. this men's dress shoe by Nine West. And actually what I forget to mention is the number 30 written on the left shoe. And just to give you a good idea of the build and the fit and the finish, and most importantly, the weight, what this shoe feels like on foot, how it wears, we'll of course test it that way. But just to show you, just to demonstrate the overall build, you can tell by bending the shoe, it's pretty flexible, so pretty casual. It can be worn day to day, I think. But most importantly, the materials themselves, even though it's a faux leather, uh, you can see it crease by the laces at the front of the shoe, uh, at the front of the foot where the foot would meet the ground walking. So expect these over time to crease and wear. Okay guys, now for a walk test and a first impressions. So there is a downside and it was finding the right size. Me, I wear a size 11 and a half, 11. Uh, these being a size 12, just a little bit clumsy feeling walking around in them. Uh, had I had these in 11 and a half or 11, I feel like they would have fit just a little bit tighter. And that to me is more comfortable and more supportive than something that has a little bit more room in it. So. Uh, I tend towards a wider shoe. This is something I say consistently in other reviews. This shoe fits comfortably. Had I gone for a size 11 and a half, I think it would have fit exactly the same. So, uh, good luck finding a pair like this that fits you just as well. Um, but also more importantly, like we started the video saying, one that doesn't have any defects. Not quite my size, but um, Still a really nice looking shoe and I would wear it, but we're gonna donate it instead. It's not my size um, and I wanted to make a donation video. So, really good looking shoe. You can see the sheen and brown uh, is a color that you can wear day to day.
30 bucks at Ross. Excellent condition, really good find. But like I said, doesn't fit me. So let's go ahead, make a shoe donation. Someone in need who could use a new pair of dress shoes, a nice pair who wears a size 12 will get these. Let's go ahead, on my way to work, stop at Goodwill and donate them. Just stopping in, make a little donation here today. Hi, how's it going? Good. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you very much. You can also input this information on Goodwill's website. There is a link to follow. It lets you um, basically log your donated items and put a value to them to get a summary of the total value of donations you've made. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that first impressions, overview, test, and donation. Because I picked this shoe up at Ross that makes it a big box good. For 30 bucks, I think it's a pretty good deal. Of course, it was good luck that I found them. Uh, unfortunately, though, not my size. Had they been my size, I probably would have kept them. Really nice looking shoe. Uh, meant for office wear, daily use. They're lightweight, uh, really comfortable to wear. Though, I do recommend buying true to size, which these were not. They were a size 12. Me, I typically wear an 11, 11 and a half. So that was the only downside to this shoe. Other shoes at Ross might have defects. These did not, but the downside, like I said, was that they were too big. So size 12, a bit too big for me. They felt clown-like or clown shoe-like. A shoe that fits around the foot tighter and more snugger to me is the best option to go with. My name is John. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. First impressions, overview, hit that bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube. Share this video with friends and family. Comment down below. Uh, hit that like button to see more fun videos like this and donation videos. These shoes went to someone in need. Let's not forget that. I love making these donation videos. The more I can make, the better. I think this year we've donated probably $200 worth of items. The value of items that we've donated has been roughly $200 worth. Uh, more to come because, of course, the year is not over and it is that time of year where gift giving and giving back is extremely important. And uh, so, with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in more donation videos coming this year. Hit that like button, subscribe. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.